Hi there, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to be picking cards to see how your person is currently feeling about you as well as what messages they would give to you and where this connection is headed. So yeah, here we have three piles in front of you. We have pile one with the carnelian, pile two with the tiger's eye, and pile three with the emerald. So yeah, go ahead and take a second to meditate upon these piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to. You can pick based on anything the crystals the angel numbers and the timestamps below the properties the colors it is up to you but do go ahead and pick based on your intuition once you have done that head over to your respective timestamp and click on that and we will see you in your respective pile hi pal one welcome to your reading so we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on in this connection how is your person currently feeling about you and where is this connection headed so yeah i'm going to start off your reading by picking cards from this brand new oracle deck i got called alice in wonderland these are holographic cards so absolutely uh love the aesthetic of these so yeah i already went ahead and pre-shuffled the deck so the first card that we got here is um set your course okay this says know where you wish to go have a plan the right direction okay wow this is a manifestation card i feel like we have a similar deck a uh, similar card in the um romance angels deck that says oh wow, i just got a notification during this reading okay um a similar card in the romance angels deck that says know exactly what it is that you want so it can come to you faster okay so i'm definitely seeing this as a card that is kind of telling you to get your manifestations in place okay so you have to decide what it is that you want with this person because whatever it is that you want is what you're going to be attracted to. For example, if you're trying to manifest contact from this person, like a text from this person, um, but you want to get married to them, then that means you should be thinking bigger, okay? Because I am seeing that this person is thinking bigger. I'm seeing that this person does want more. It's just that, like, you know, if what this person kind of needs to, like, notice a shift within themselves for this to happen and if you want anything anyone to you know cater to you if you want to see a shift in this person you have to have a shift within yourself okay so i'm really seeing that for a lot of you you could be like the divine feminines and um you know honestly that doesn't even really matter too much it's not something that like uh you know gender doesn't necessarily play a huge role at least i used to think that way but not anymore um it's just that if you want anyone or anything to change or like i said uh you know give you what you want you just have to um believe that you're worthy of it okay like your person the best version of your person the person um that you've been trying to manifest the relationship that you've been trying to manifest it's literally on the other side of the fence or um, other side of whatever okay and they're waiting for you your desires are literally waiting for you it's just a matter of you quite literally stepping into the state, stepping into the version of yourself that has the desire, okay? A little bit of manifestation, law of assumption stuff here, but that is what I'm seeing that, because I'm seeing that your person has actually been manifesting you. I'm seeing that your person wants to be with you. And if you have been thinking about them, okay, if you feel like you're energetically really attracted to them, it's because they're manifesting you to feel that way. In fact, I'm even seeing that, like, maybe things aren't working out with other people because this person still wants to be with you, okay? And that's exactly, you know, the kind of mentality you need to get into as well because I feel like if you're really into this person, you're watching tarot readings on this person, you know, you have to kind of start thinking that way too. You have to think, no, this person wants me too. This person's into me too because they already are. The thing is your person does care about you. They are into you, okay? Um, they feel like you are the right direction. They feel like, you know, um, you've helped them in a lot of ways. You're a really good influence on them and they really want to be with you. It's just that, you know, you might have to do a little bit more manifestation, be a little bit more focused on your manifestations, you know, do a little bit more self-love, self-concept affirmations because that's going to make you you know energetically more attractive and that's going to attract their energy to you okay so um just think that this person wants you they do care about you this is your confirmation that your person still likes you they're still into you they want to take that next step they want things to progress they want things to really escalate in this connection okay so yeah um, and oh my gosh, this also says have a plan. So I really do feel like your person is kind of planning on coming back to you. They're thinking of, um, you know, literally, like they're thinking of what they need to say and what the right things to say are, okay? 
like this person wants to come back to you. I'm really getting like, you know, uh, I believe like the three of wands vibes here. It's like maybe you could be in some sort of um, separation or distance and it's like now your person is just thinking of the right things to say um, to come back or like they're literally planning on making a move or giving you some sort of offer. So I really like that this person is thinking about what it is that they want to happen. They're really thinking about, you know, this connection and, um, you know, like it, the only reason that's even happening is because they care about you a lot. It's because they do respect you a lot. And, you know, you're really going to be seeing that. You're going to be seeing their actions reflect that. But I'm seeing something to do with a plan, something to do with, you know, just thinking forward, thinking ahead, thinking long term, thinking about the future. OK, yeah. So the next card we have here is you can't go back to yesterday. Also, I picked this card, which says 22. And this card has the number 44 on it. OK, so you could be seeing 222 or 444 quite a lot. OK, these are angel numbers that I'm seeing for you but this says yeah you can't go back to yesterday be in the present okay this is all about being in the present moment and kind of like dropping the old story okay kind of getting rid of anything that isn't really serving this connection I am seeing there's you know forgiveness required or you kind of seeing this person in a different light here and only do that if you feel comfortable okay I'm not saying you have to but if you do want something with this person if you do want clarification from this person or if, you, if you're even trying to manifest an apology from this person the only person you need to forgive is yourself when you forgive yourself and when you no longer like are obsessive over the need for an apology that's when the apology really comes in okay so um, I'm really seeing that it all begins with you okay you're the only person that you kind of need to change if you want to see changes in the five in the 3d okay and when I say change you I don't mean like actually change anything about you I just mean change the way you perceive a situation change the way you see yourself and change the way you see the past okay there are three things that need to happen if you want this person to come forward um, this is a message that I'm getting from spirit you know they want to let you know yeah, you have to change the way that you view yourself because I feel like for a lot of you, you're in this victim mentality, victim mode. You're just like, oh, yeah, this person, you know, hurt me so much, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, uh, that happens sometimes. Like, yeah, you know, we are victims. But like, if you're going to keep reaffirming that story, then unfortunately, that's what you're going to see happening. OK, like this person's going to keep treating you like not the best version of you know themselves or you there this person's gonna keep treating you like um you know like for lack of better word crap like you have to start seeing yourself as the operant power you have to start seeing yourself as this you know queen or king that's worthy of the best that's worthy of like you know respect okay again i am you know into manifesting i do have a lot of assumption series on my channel you can definitely check that out and um you know i'm getting this person's energy is you know they, they are really attracted to they're still very much into you but it's like if you want to call them back in if you want an apology if you want anything you really do have to start assuming them to be you know the version that will give you everything that you want you have to stop seeing them as like you know um lesser or you have to stop seeing yourselves as lesser okay you have to put yourselves on an equal like pedestal if you will okay equal um yeah you are equal you know you're no less than this person no one's like you know better than you no one's lesser than you um there's some energetic work that i'm seeing is required on your part here so yeah okay now i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on with them i know a lot of this was about like you know kind of what you need to do but i'm really seeing that someone here and i feel like this is both people because we have repeating numbers here 44 and 22 someone's really thinking about the past and they're having a hard time kind of getting the past out of their head and this is a sign that you know um if you want things to progress if you want things to like you know really move forward then it is um up to you to kind of you know be a little bit more in the present and you know even think a little bit more about your future like okay what do you want this future what do you want a future of this person to look like do you want to be married do you want to be you know in the dating do you want just contact do you want an apology okay so get clear on what it is that you want because i really feel like that's going to help expedite things a lot okay i am like you know getting messages from spirit that like you know a lot of you could have been stuck in this cycle of watching multiple tarot readings okay this is probably like your like third or second oh my god like you probably watched three to five tarot readings within like you know this last week itself maybe even more um if that's the case then now's really the time for you to kind of take things into your own hands and you know not uh be uh, super influenced by things that are going around you but rather influence them yourselves by literally just manifesting by getting into that you know offer power state okay sorry a lot of lot of manifesting messages and i'm only seeing that because this person is manifesting you i feel like you know about manifesting and because you know about it like you know 
you should be using that more you should really be using that to your benefit okay so yeah we do have these two cards here we got the knight of cups and then we got the five of cups a lot of water energy here okay i'm seeing someone could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio you could be dealing with someone with those placements and moon rising venus seventh house which is house of love relationships so i really do feel like this person wants to come forward and make you an offer with this knight of cups okay um, but it's like they're kind of coming from a state of lack here, okay? With this Five of Cups, I'm seeing someone walked away from someone. Someone feels abandoned. Someone feels like, you know, the other person kind of just goes to them or left them out in the cold. And I'm really seeing that this is, um, you know, this is not the state that they want to be in, okay? Like, if they did walk away from you, I am seeing that they're going to come back and make you some sort of offer here with the Knight of Cups. But it's like they kind of have to get out of this lack mentality right now. They're kind of, like, you know, feeling really in victim mode. I think that's what I was getting. Like, I kept hearing, like, victim mode. Like, someone's, like, you know, really pitying themselves a lot, you know, feeling really sorry for themselves. And, you know, um, oh, my gosh. Like, I just realized the blinds were closed. Let me just open these blinds a little bit. Uh, I hope that didn't mess up the lighting too much. But it's like I'm just seeing, like, this mix between, like, darkness and light void and fulfillment okay and it's like this person is really going through it i really do feel like you know they feel a void in their life without you okay um they really feel like you helped them through so much you were a really good influence on them you really impacted them and they really do want to come forward and make you some sort of offer and i really do see them getting out of this victim mentality victim mode um self-pitying type of mode um they're coming from a state of lack i feel like there's probably a lot going on in their life right now and um you know like they kind of need to get out of that weird funk that they're in right now they're kind of in a rut and i'm seeing like this is what they want to do with this knight of cups they want to come forward and you know give you the love offer that you so rightfully deserve okay but they also know that like you know i'm sensing for a lot of you um maybe this person was really just kind of a burden on you they feel like they were a burden on you you were kind of their therapist they would like talk to you about their problems and stuff they would you know really just complain a lot or like you know um you were just listening to what they had to say a lot of the times and they really feel like that kind of brought you down and they really feel like they were some sort of burden so now they want to give you um you know they want to come forward when they really filled their own cups okay um if you want to be in a successful relationship you have to fill your own cup with love um you know peace prosperity abundance whatever it is that you want okay and that's exactly what i'm seeing is happening here this person is working on self-love this person is working on filling their own cup and they are you know I'm, I'm seeing they're solely working on figuring out what the problem is okay they're figuring out um you know how to get to the root cause of the problem what is it that's kind of been holding them back because i'm seeing that like you know this person they haven't like been in a long-term relationship in a while or you know they kind of just are not really that good at dating or like that's what they feel um like and maybe they have dated a lot of people and things like that like you know before you and it's just, it hasn't been working out and they feel like okay well uh, maybe am i the problem like you know what's going on here so they're doing a lot of like you know introspection they're doing a lot of like you know just um self-love work and a lot of just um kind of like finding themselves type of work here okay yeah i'm seeing someone has even gone into hermit mode someone has kind of like you know retreated to just focus on themselves and they're really hoping that you understand it's exactly for that okay they feel like they need to focus on themselves they need to um you know really just figure out who they are on a deeper level so if they did walk away it's not personal necessarily okay um they never did it to offend you they never did it to hurt you it's just that they need some time to kind of figure out who they really are okay they need some time for self-exploration yeah and then we also got the tower moment so yeah i'm seeing that this tower moment has already happened okay um and I feel like there's a tower moment that happened in their life that kind of caused a tower moment to happen in this connection. But the positive thing about this card is that the only way from here on out is up, okay? So I'm seeing that there's change and transformation that's already taking place, that's already happening. The worst is already over. So that's actually a really positive sign. I'm also seeing a lot of Mars influence. I feel like maybe someone's Mars sign is really being activated here or Mars could be in someone's... Um, uh, could be heavy in someone's birth chart or mars could be in a certain sign that's heavy in their birth chart or like let's say you have a mars in scorpio and the mars literally is in scorpio um right now you know that could be very impactful like let's say you know you have uh mercury placements when mercury goes into retrograde you know that's kind of gonna impact your chart um so that's something that i'm seeing is happening i just feel like maybe uh this person's birth chart is being affected by some sort of planetary um, 
movements or retrogrades or whatever is just going on here okay so i feel like you know it's something that is kind of forcing your person to really like i said um, understand themselves on a deeper level figure out what it is that they really want and finally you know have the means to move forward okay <clears throat> finally have the means to come out of this sort of lock state that they're in um i'm also seeing aries and scorpio so maybe someone could have those signs sun moon rising venus okay but we did get the empress so i really love that oh my gosh wow Light at the end of the tunnel here, okay? Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow. They think really highly of you. I feel like you're a representative of this Empress energy, and they're kind of still at this knight energy here, which isn't exactly a king or emperor or priest or, you know, what's the other card? Hierophant or high priestess, right? So, um, yeah, with this empress here they think really highly of you okay they feel like you're very beautiful inside and out very attractive very handsome um i'm just seeing that like you know you radiate such positive vibes you're a wonderful person um you are very like you're very nurturing, kind, caring. Like I said, I feel like you really helped this person through a lot. You know, you kind of did act like their therapist. You were really there for them for the worst of times, you know. And um, you helped this person through quite a lot. And they are really grateful for that, okay? They can really see the light, love, beauty radiate within you, okay? You are beautiful inside and out. You're handsome, attractive, you know, whatever you resonate with in every sense. And they really love that. They love being around beauty. They feel like you're someone that, like, you know, heals everything that they touch, whereas they kind of feel like they're someone that destroys everything that they touch okay like they they really have a lot of self-love to work oh my god self-love work to do okay they're a little bit insecure they need to be a little bit more confident okay and they really feel like you've helped them with that you've helped them with their confidence it's like yes they could have been outwardly confident but like they do struggle with certain things deep down okay and they're working on that but you have helped them a lot you have really helped them through these times um again you're very kind caring nurturing you um have so much to give so much love um you know even just like physical tactical help to give you probably give like really good advice you're just always there for not just them but people in general and that's why a lot of people um are very attracted to your energy they absolutely love being around you they absolutely love just um you know being in your presence, okay? I even feel like, yeah, you're very attractive and I feel like your beauty is also healing, but um, it's also like, you know, your internal beauty. You just radiate love and light, okay? Oh my gosh, yeah. You are someone that has enhanced the lives of literally everyone you've met in some way, shape, or form. Like, even the people that, like, you know, maybe you had a falling out with, you did help them in some way, shape, or form. And people really think the best of you. I'm seeing that this person really does think the best of you. They really do think the best of this situation and this connection. In fact, I'm really seeing that, you know, if you're watching this, this is, you can't go back to yesterday, right? You guys could be a little bit more hung up on, you know, things that happened in this connection. You guys could be a little bit, you know, mad about the way that things transpired and um, kind of, unwilling to let go of the past or still mad at them for something whereas they're kind of like you know ready to let go of it but that also makes sense because they're the ones that caused more pain in this connection like i feel like you were really there for them and you kind of got fed up with the way that they were acting <clears throat> the way that they were doing things okay so i mean it makes sense right so it's like they're the ones that like kind of stressed you out a little bit more right so it makes sense that you know they're the ones that um are ready to get over it because it's like they, they don't even realize like you know consequences of their own actions but i'm seeing they are um definitely working on being more self-aware they are working on um you know like just understanding what their role in certain things is i feel like they could have been oblivious to certain things i feel like they could have been very like you know um very just yeah lacking self-awareness okay so it's like they need to just work on you know what understanding what they bring to a certain connection yeah but um i am seeing that you know they think very highly of you they really do think the best of you okay and then we also got the nine of pentacles yeah they really admire your individuality they like that you're really true to yourself you're very independent you're a strong independent woman or man you know that honestly does not like need anything and i feel like you know they they can really sense that okay like you're not really in that needy any needy energy anymore like maybe you kind of could have been obsessing about this connection a bit but it's like you it's kind of dwindled down okay like you're not as obsessive as you used to be about this connection like you'll, you'll still watch tarot readings and things like that but um, i'm seeing that like you know you're really stepping into your power you're really stepping into being the best version of yourself and your person's really getting that energy and because of that they are really energetically attracted to you okay so that's a really good sign 
Wow, okay. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know why, but I felt really different doing this reading compared to other readings. I just feel like there's so much heavy energy that your person is dealing with, but you help them through that a lot. But it's like also they kind of, um, you know, really burdened you with certain things in their life. And um, But like you still like found a way to gracefully get out of that. Like you're still yourself. You haven't lost yourself in this process whatsoever. You're still um, kind, caring, nurturing. You're still kind to everyone. Like you still have not given up hope on love and having a strong connection because you have so much love to give to yourself, okay? Yeah, you have a lot of self-love and I feel like, you know, this person uses you as motivation, okay? Like they look to you as inspiration and motivation to, you know, have that for themselves. Um, also, this Empress, it is associated with Venus, which is a planet of love and beauty. And um, yeah, like, again, this person thinks you're beautiful inside and out. I've probably said that like five times by now. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> you know, it's like you have just so much love to give uh, to everyone. Okay. Again, you have impacted people's lives in a very positive way. And that's one of like, that's something that a lot of people really see about you and <clears throat> Take away about you and your connection with this person, okay? Um, or the connection that you have with people in general, like not just this person. Wow, okay, I don't know why, but I'm feeling really lightheaded doing this reading. I feel like, you know, you and this person, you have this amazing connection, you have this amazing bond, but it's just a matter of, you know, your person kind of healing and getting through these things, and you also just like, you know, kind of maybe changing the way that you see the situation, changing your perspective about the situation, and kind of thinking the best, you know, kind of seeing this person in a different light so that they literally um, reflect that and they <clears throat> appear that way okay so yeah uh we also got healing family issues yeah so i really do feel like this person kind of has a lot to heal um in terms of like you know yes their actual family but um maybe it was their family that kind of like you know told them like oh look you know um love isn't like real or like you know you'll, you only have to settle for like um you know <laughs> oh my gosh like don't marry for love, marry for security and stability and all these like just limiting beliefs and it, it's kind of been impacting them quite a lot. So they are kind of healing through these issues. And then we also got let go of control issues. Yeah, so um, I really feel like, you know, don't worry too much about the situation because I do feel like it's unfolding in a really natural manner. It is happening. It is working. Things are working out in the best way possible. Things are working out for you. Things are going to be working out in your favor. So, you know, don't feel like you have the need to like, you know, control every single aspect of this um you know issue by like obsessing over like even if like you're not like physically talking to your person like sometimes it's like you know i'm just getting the message that you're kind of letting this control you so it's like letting go of control issues i would even say that like you know you're kind of letting the situation get the best of you you're obsessing you're um, maybe stalking your social media i feel like I, definitely you're not doing that as much as you used to but if that is the case this is kind of a sign for you to you know not worry about that too much okay because things are working out okay you have to keep repeating that i would even use that as an affirmation things are always working out for me in the best way possible and and it's like, you know, don't let this control you, okay? If anything, you have um, control over, you know, any given situation by literally just controlling your thoughts and feelings and assumptions about the situation. So that's another sign that I'm seeing. We got attraction. Yeah, so your person is so attracted to, if I haven't already made that clear. Yeah, they're very much into, and I really do see them approaching you with some sort of offer and coming forward, okay? I feel like there is unfinished business in this connection for sure. So yeah, okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and recap the zodiac signs. <clears throat> And then I'm also going to go ahead and pick some initial cards. I don't know why, but this entire reading, my throat chakra was kind of like, you know, struggling. Like, like I was like clearing up my throat. And it's just like this person wants to, you know, they have so much they want to tell you. They do want to communicate with you. But it's like they kind of need to work on their throat chakra. They also need to work on opening up their heart chakra a little bit and also their root chakra. So I'm really like getting the colors like yellow. Um, sorry, not yellow. What am I saying? The throat chakra is blue. Okay, the yellow does have to do with the solar plexus chakra, which has to do with confidence, which is something I'm seeing this person needs to gain. But I'm, I'm like really seeing these colors emanating from you and your person. Um, blue, red, green, yellow. Okay, so yeah. Um, I would even recommend maybe doing like a heart chakra meditation um, and maybe like sending positive vibes or healing vibes to your person if that's something that you want to do. But again, I feel like you've helped this person quite a lot and um, it's something that they kind of need to work through themselves. But maybe you can do that for your own self like when you open up your own heart chakra, when you work on your own heart chakras, um, you know, that's a way... That's a form of self-improvement, self-love, and like the rest of the world will see that as well. So yeah, um, okay. The rest of the world will see you improving, seeing your chakras open up, and it's like, you know, 
<clears throat> any sort of external change starts internally. Yeah. So in terms of the signs, we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Taurus once again, Aries, Scorpio. And yeah, I'm also getting a lot of Cancer energy. So yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick some initials. And then I'm also going to go ahead and roll the astral dice. You know what? I'll go ahead and roll the astral dice first. Um to see you know just what's going on here uh okay so we got jupiter vibe something sagittarius energy also a little bit of pisces because pisces used to be ruled by jupiter now it's ruled by neptune i, I feel like yeah it has two planetary influences cancer again and then taurus okay so yeah let's go ahead and pick some cards and don't worry if you didn't hear your sign and their sign it has more to do with the messages associated with the signs like i always say but yeah let's go ahead and see what letters we have here we got n we got w we got J, we got C, we got I, we got U, we got S, we got H, we got Q, and we got P. So someone's initials, yours or theirs, first name, middle name, or last name, um, you know, could have been present in these cards and if that was the case then this is confirmation that this is your reading if not don't worry too much about it this is just kind of like a cherry on the top top kind of thing like i always say so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helped if this didn't resonate don't worry too much you can of course go and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for and yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here thank you so much love and light Hi Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Um, also, it is literally 1-11 as I'm filming this right now, so that could be an angel number. Yeah, but welcome to your reading. We're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on in this connection. What would your person tell you if they could? And where is this connection headed? Okay, so I'm going to start off by picking cards from this beautiful Alice in Wonderland deck to see exactly what is going on in this connection. Okay, the card already popped out we got nature communication oh my gosh wow um flower energies fairy energies elemental messengers okay wow i am seeing that a lot of you have this sort of like light-hearted fairy-like spirit um you know you're really good at talking you're really good at articulating yourself i don't know why i've been seeing someone could be like a gemini rising or um someone maybe could have like air sign in their air yeah, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini in their chart, like, you're really good at what you do, okay, and, like, you have this just amazing vibe and energy to you that your person was really attracted to, and that's one of the reasons why they fell for you, okay, um, yeah, you are just glowing inside and out, okay, you are radiant, you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, you're handsome, attractive, whatever you resonate with, and, um, you literally know how to brighten up anyone's lives, anyone's day, okay, uh, I'm also seeing a lot of you feel really connected when you're in nature, when you walk in nature, when maybe you go barefoot. I believe there's this thing called like grounding. Um, maybe someone could even have earth sign in their chart, earth sign energy. I am seeing that someone here could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, but um, I, I don't know why, but I just, like, I'm getting like flower child. Like you're just someone that like, you know, um, yeah, you hang out in nature, you feel really like energized and rejuvenated when you're in nature or like I'm seeing something to do with you and your person having a date in nature, maybe you went on a picnic or hike or um, like I'm seeing something to do with the forest or like even like an ocean, maybe you have like a beach date or something like that, but it's like your person's really thinking about that, okay, your person's really thinking about the date that you had when it was just you and them in nature. I, it was either hiking or picnicking or um, near the ocean or uh, yeah, and like I'm seeing that that person is reminiscing about that. They're getting really nostalgic about that memory. Yeah, I'm also seeing the number 37 that adds up to 10, which adds up to 1. So yeah, uh, that could be relevant in some way, shape, or form. Okay, yeah, like I said, um, I started filming this as it was 111. So that could be an angel number you see quite a lot of. And when you see that, that could be an indication that your person is trying to communicate to you about something, okay? Uh, we also got no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Oh my gosh, yes. So your person sees so much within you, okay? They feel like you're this fearless, confident, resilient, strong, empowering person, okay? And that you have, you know, gone through a lot, you've been through a lot, and your person really admires that. They admire, like, you know, just how, like, 
strong you are within yourself like just how individualistic you are how you stay true to your individuality how you do not let anyone like you know influence you in a negative way how you just um like you just do your own thing and you excel at it okay i feel like your person you know really fell for you the most when you were just being yourself when you were just being your natural self as well okay yeah um you know, this person really fell in love when you, like, you know, took off your makeup or you were just, like, in your, you know, loungewear or home clothes and you were really just your natural self. I mean, they love you or they are attracted to you. They like you, you know, whatever you resonate with, um, no matter what form you come in. Okay, they like you even when you get all, like, dressed up, um, dolled up, whatever, but, like, they like you just as much when you're just your true selves maybe someone here wears glasses like i got that um song like hair tied sweatpants chilling with no makeup on yeah i just feel like this person likes you for who you are as a person okay they feel like this connection is really deep it is way past like the surface level or like you know they want to get to know you past the surface level i feel like they want to get to know you on a deeper level and really like you know um i feel like you've talked about your goals dreams desires a lot and um they just they really they i feel like you're just so interesting you're so intriguing the way that you view things the way that you express yourself the way that you state things and like they just kind of want to know more about you in general okay i know i said that like three times but it's just like this person could spend like an entire day with you and they'd be like you know what that's not enough i need to spend more time with this person okay they could like literally spend an entire lifetime getting to know you and like they'd still want to know more okay um i don't know why but i'm also getting scorpio energy i feel like you know someone here you know, has a lot of depth to them i'm also getting scorpio Pisces energy and this person just wants to like you know figure you out and um the both of you already have a very deep connection this is a very very deep telepathic connection that goes way past you know um like the superficial or the surface level I feel like you know you definitely could have dated people in the past and same with this person and it's like you know they got along really well with people in the past but it's just it's just that the connection that the both of you have is something that they have not experienced before and even if they thought they experienced it it was like it's just not the same as it is with you and that's why this person's energy is so is still so connected to you okay this person is very attracted to you energetically physically emotionally holistically okay yeah this is an intense reading i really like how this is going okay i'm not gonna lie pile one was kind of like sad vibes a little bit yeah but this pile two oh my gosh yeah uh a lot of hope for you okay um or this person has a lot of hope for this connection i'm just seeing like hope um psychic connection i'm seeing someone could have a lot of 12th house placements like a lot of planets in their 12th house um oh yeah definitely getting a lot of like yeah just they don't necessarily have to be a water sign but this person feels things really deeply really emotionally and i'm here i'm hearing that someone in this connection you know probably you maybe even them a little bit are psychic are a little bit intuitive um but I am seeing that you have some sort of telepathic or psychic connection, okay? And I really do feel like, you know, um, there are certain things that, like, you see in your dreams that this person reflects, okay? Or that you could be thinking about something in the vicinity of your own home and this person will literally, like, you know, um, post something about that on their story or talk to you about that and you're all like, wait, I was literally just thinking about this. Like, how is this working, okay? Because, like, you know, on technology, if you have TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like, literally anything, you get more of what you're into on your feed sometimes like tiktok even shows you videos that like are about what you've been thinking about like you never even searched it up but tiktok just knows that you've been thinking about that like that's kind of the connection you and this person has okay which is crazy yeah um i feel like this person like i'm seeing something to do with an algorithm tech finance um someone could even be working in that field or someone could be an artist writer singer musician um someone could be a software engineer someone could be into crypto someone could be into yeah i'm, I'm just hearing like tech and finance as well um yeah so let's go ahead and pick some cards i was shuffling and <clears throat> a bunch of cards just fell out here I don't know what's going on with my throat chakra, but I really feel like, you know, this entire, like, reading, even Pal 1, like, I'm just seeing that there's a lot that someone wants to get off their chest. I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of communication. I don't know when Mercury retrograde is happening exactly, and this is a timeless reading, <clears throat> so it shouldn't matter, but I feel like, you know, Mercury has to do with communication. And I feel like you're going to be getting some sort of communication either before or after the retrograde. Could even possible, possibly be during the retrograde, but I feel like you've been 
waiting on some sort of communication. You've been waiting on some sort of form of expression. You've been waiting on this person to say or do something. And I feel like you are going to be getting that just kind of outside of this Mercury retrograde period. So it's like if you're watching this during Mercury retrograde, then this is a sign that this is coming to you, okay? But I'm seeing that like someone really needs to get something off their chest. Someone really needs to kind of clear up their throat chakra and work on, you know, just being more authentic and vulnerable in what they say okay like this person i feel like they have said things to you and like i'm not saying they weren't being authentic but it's just like this person has a lot that they want to get off their chest i don't know why but i was channeling, channeling a lot of 12th house energies and the 12th house is the house of like hit hidden things like secrets and realms like the hidden realm so it's like there's a lot of things that you might not see on the surface level but it's like it's going on deep inside there's a lot of things that like you know this person wants to let you know that you might not um see just yet but you might be feeling it psychically or energetically and it's like this person will eventually reflect that to you in the 3d yeah um let me see yeah okay yeah we got the three of pentacles here i was gonna i was checking to see if we got a lot of pentacles cards but we did get a lot of swords cards so that's why i'm seeing communication is really coming in here uh yeah we got the page of swords as well so this person is major stalking you on social media but yeah let's talk about the three of pentacles first so i am seeing that someone kind of is really um involved with their work or obviously but like someone is really like spending a lot of time energy effort into their career into their material abundance finances and um that is something that i am seeing like is affecting this connection or it is taking a lot of time um it's like there's this one card in the romance angels deck that says finances and career are affecting your love life so i'm seeing that this person is really focused on that so it's like if this person doesn't hit you up or something like that like it's not necessarily that you know they're ignoring you or that they don't want to talk to you it's just that they're kind of busy on getting um the more material aspects of their life together they are busy on like you know focusing on their career um just trying to get promoted trying to you know um just really um really do better in that area of their life because they feel like they've been lacking in somewhere something's happening that you know they realize like okay you know what i gotta worry about my future a little bit more like maybe this person could even be well off but it's just like i'm just seeing like you know this person really wants to make a lot of themselves i'm even seeing maybe there's like some family members or certain people that they have to kind of like prove themselves to or like people that have really high expectations of themselves of you know this person and this person kind of has to live up to those expectations you know that are a little bit more materialistic and you know, this person is really busy with that or you know they have really high standards for themselves in that aspect and it's kind of something that they are working on right now yeah so i'm seeing that you know this four of swords there could be um some sort of separation or some sort of like um no contact or maybe very little contact or you wish this person you know like talked to you more or was a little bit more communicative so yeah that is something that i'm seeing with this four of swords here um this person has just kind of been taking a break from things because like, this person has kind of just been resting this person has been um really getting their life together i really feel like they want to come back or they want to make that offer or they want to take that next step but only when they have like their um like finance situation or whatever it is that's really going on with them um sorted out okay because this is this does say the uh this is the three of pentacles so this kind of is a third party card but i'm seeing this third party isn't necessarily a person as much as it is like you know um just their finances their material life their career life or it could be a person that's causing them a lot of like trouble and pain at work or they're really stressed out or they're in a toxic environment or something like that and they kind of just need some time for them some time to like get themselves together figure out what it is that they want out of work out of life i'm um, seeing something to do with like a job change or career change i'm even seeing that maybe someone lives at a distance from someone maybe someone is um out of Maybe you are in physical separation with this person and it's like uh, you have been manifesting this person and if distance is a problem, then maybe like they're like they're trying to sort that out in some way. Okay. And they're really thinking about what it is that they want. Like, but for example, let's say this person lives far away because of a job. Um, then they're kind of trying to figure that out. Okay. Like maybe they're thinking of getting a new job and it's going to be closer to you. Okay. But like they're also doing it for themselves. So it's crazy how manifesting works. It's like, you know, when you manifest this person, 
to physically come closer to you or be married or um, be in a relationship or end long distance. It's like things will happen and it'll make it seem like it's their idea, okay? So I'm really seeing something is happening and the both, both of you are getting closer to union, okay? Because we have some really exciting cards coming up here, a little bit of a preview. Yeah, but um, I'm seeing that if there's some sort of separation, if there is some sort of distance, if there is some sort of no contact situation, Trust when I say that things are working out for the best. Things are definitely going to be working out. Things are going to be a lot better than you even expect them. So, yeah, I really do like that uh, for you, pile two. Okay, bigger and better things coming in for sure. Um, okay, so we got the page of swords. Yeah, so this person is definitely stalking you on social media, okay? Don't think they're not. Even if they don't like watch your stories, they're still keeping an eye on you in some way, shape, or form, okay? Um, this person, I feel like they have a lot that they want to get off their chest. They have a lot that they even want to communicate to you about, okay? Um, the whole thing I was saying about Mercury, um, I'm just seeing like, yeah, this person has a lot that they want to express and literally get off their chest and I really feel like it's kind of been um you know burdening them not to speak their truth not to be like you know as vulnerable as they want to be but I'm seeing that this person is going to get a lot better at communicating okay oh my gosh I just realized this card yeah it says this says nature communication and I like when I first saw this I, this is like natural communication so I feel like this person is just gonna like you know um just communicate everything that they want to, everything that they want to get off their chest to you, okay? This person just really um, is going to be, like, the best version of themselves. They're going to be the most authentic version of themselves. They're going to be, like, you know, just very raw and authentic. And, sorry, I said that so many times, but, like, they're just going to be really, like, real in the way that they communicate, okay? No more holding back. No more, like, you know, thinking, overthinking about what they want to say. Like, this person, I feel like, you know, when you've been intoxicated and like you just let things out like you know that's kind of what i'm seeing is happening maybe this person could even be drunk calling or texting you i'm definitely seeing some sort of facetime or video call or um like yeah some sort of text coming in and they it could be a drunk te text or something like that but doesn't necessarily have to be but it's just i see this person finally speaking their truth okay yeah and i just feel like yeah this person they've been holding this in for so long and they're there's going to come a time where they finally come out, you know, they come clean and they're going to like tell you everything that you've been waiting to hear. Okay. And it's going to be really fulfilling. Okay. Cause yeah, here we have these two cards, Knight of Cups and the, ah, Knight of Cups and the Chariot card. Okay. So, um, I really like where this is headed. This person is going to make you some sort of love offer and you are going to get back together. Okay. This is going to be really victorious. I'm seeing there's going to be, um, the outcome of this, connection the outcome of this situation is going to be something that the both of you are going to be very satisfied with very fulfilled with um yeah this person is making some sort of love offer and like they're coming like they're coming in um at a very like like i was gonna say like medium pace but that doesn't really make any sense like okay it's not gonna be like slow it's not as slow as the knight of pentacles but it's not going to be as like fast as the Knight of Swords. Like, they're going to come in and it's going to feel really natural. That's the thing. I feel like the theme of this reading, the theme of, you know, Pile 2 is like, you know, natural communication. Things are just going to feel natural. They're not going to feel forced. It's not going to feel like love bombing. It's not going to feel like, you know, it's too slow. Things aren't moving. Like, even if things have been stagnant, trust me when I say that there are, um, there's a reason why that's been happening. And I really do feel like the future that the both of you have together in this connection is going to make up for lost time okay it's going to make up for you know all the times that you know you've been waiting for this person all the times that you felt anxious like seriously the future that i'm seeing ahead of you is big bright and yeah it's just going to be very very fulfilling very emotionally satisfying very um you know because both of these are associated with like water signs so like it's this person is just going to be like the best version of themselves, okay? Yeah, I'm getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, Cancer energy here as well. So, yeah, expect a lot of like just abundance coming your way in this connection, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of clarifying cards to see like what it is that's going to happen. Like what are they going to be offering? Like how exactly is this going to work out? I just want some more clarification on that spirit. Let me know what is happening with pile two's person. Um, how is this person going to be coming in? Okay. Very interesting. So this is the hanged one, which is a hanged man. And this is transition and sacrifice. Okay. So I really do feel like this person kind of does have to make a sacrifice of some kind. I really feel like maybe at times they kind of 
did put their work over this connection and like it's not just you they they could have done that um for anything else for uh, you know other people in their life too and it's like you know they're not realizing like you know the true nature of sacrifice and they're kind of realizing like okay what is it that's going to matter in the long run obviously you know their work their individuality their hobbies you know that kind of stuff is important to them but it's like maybe they've been indulging too much time and it's like they've kind of been like you know feeling really like what do you call hung up in those tasks okay they've been really tied down by those things and I'm just seeing that there's a huge transition there's a huge transformation happening for this connection and it's like they're no longer going to be tied by that and they realize the only person that it's really tying them in the situation is themselves okay like they're the ones that have you know the power to untie themselves to un you know ravel all the complications and you know situations that they've gotten themselves into okay so it's like yeah like you know this person like the knot is tied but yet you know they're holding the reins here like they can with one pull like you know they can completely uh be unintertwined and unmeshed and all these problems that they have and I really feel like they're finally stepping into that power they're finally realizing you know their priorities and working on you know what's going to be important in the long run and yeah they're really making this they're making a huge transition a huge transformation that is going to be um you know really good for them and this connection in the long run I'm really seeing like long-term commitment and long-term like you know just relationship coming in here okay like oh my gosh this is looking really promising pile two I am really happy for you definitely kind of an upgrade from pile one you know no reading is necessarily like bad or negative or wrong or anything but it's like yeah I'm seeing that like there's major progress there's major movement being um taking place here okay so yeah i'm also getting a lot of pisces energy we also got this metamorphosis card this is profound change and self-awareness see that's the thing this person is gaining a lot of self-awareness and they're realizing that like you know the only person that was standing in the way was themselves okay and i'm seeing that there is profound change profound transformation happening and when that happens that's when they're finally going to be coming forward okay making you this offer i'm also seeing that you know this person doesn't really want to be a burden that's why you know we also got this four of swords which represents them being in kind of a meditative contemplative um state and you know kind of just figuring out things for themselves okay this person is like really looking to themselves for the answers like i'm seeing that maybe for some of you we definitely could have been kind of a therapist for this person who did help this person through a lot but it's like you know they realize that they need to kind of like you know get themselves through that they kind of need to um you know fix them fix themselves first by themselves it's like they have gotten a lot of external help or you know maybe like you know they could have thought talk to you their friends maybe even seen like therapists or something like that and like that that definitely is helpful but they realize like okay i'm the only one that can get myself out of this rut okay and i feel like this person kind of already has hit rock bottom hence this metamorphosis card and it's like they're finally getting out of that they're finally you know um rising out of like you know the sort sort of lower vibrational state that they've been in and um you know becoming a better version of themselves okay i'm just getting a lot of crown chakra energy so this person you know that has to do with divinity spirituality and getting closer to your higher self uh really being in alignment with your higher self and that's something that um this person is you know it's, it's taken them taken them a long time to realize that but better late than never and it's finally happening okay i'm also seeing this person could have been suffering with like some sort of like bad habit negative patterns or like addictions or something like that you know it could even be like they could have been like a workaholic or maybe they did have they did kind of rely on substances or something like that if that's been the case if that has been hindering this connection i see major improvements happening okay again huge huge transformation and you know once that transformation happens that's when they're really going to be coming towards you okay yeah i'm getting a lot of scorpio pisces and cancer energy heavy 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 on the water sign but this is the outcome okay things are going to work out for you you are going to be noticing like a victory in this connection you and your person are going to make it out of this not just alive but make it out of this being the best version of yourselves okay this person is coming back a stronger and better version of themselves so that this relationship can be stronger and better than ever okay and healthier than ever so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the romance angels deck to see what other messages we have and then i'm gonna go ahead and roll the astral dice as well as pick some initials so yeah let's see what uh the cards have to say here okay we got codependency which totally makes sense with the hanged one card um but it's like this person is kind of you know becoming a healthier version of themselves okay so i'm seeing if someone was codependent in this relationship or codependent on something like they're learning to be you know more self-reliant they're learning to just um you know cope with things 
in a better manner like have healthier coping mechanisms and then yeah we also got passion okay so this person is so passionate about you this person is so passionate about this connection um they really do care about you a lot they feel like you are like they're one and only okay like this person is just like they can't even imagine being with anyone else like even if like let's say you're in separation or you live at a distance and they dated other people it's like they don't compare to you okay the the passion that the both of you have in this connection the emotional connection that the both of you have in this uh relationship it's unrivaled it's unmatched this person knows that they're not getting that anywhere else maybe in the beginning they thought that they could but like i feel like maybe it did take other people you know dating other people for you and for them to realize how important this connection is how deep and life-changing this connection is and how important the both of you are to one another in fact i'm even seeing if maybe you haven't been having that much success in terms of like dating other people or this person isn't with anyone um it's because the both of you have been manifesting each other to be with one another okay and i'm really seeing that like this person and you are very very like intertwined in one another's energy like you are both energetically connected you both have this you know you both share this deep psychic bond and this telepathic connection and it's like the both of you are very 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 much into each other's energy i was gonna say stuck in one another's energy but like i mean that in the best way possible and it's like the only way to get out of this is to cut the cord okay so this person and you yeah you have a lot of love for each other you're in love with each other you do care about each other you're very much um like into each other in every single way like emotionally physically holistically okay so yeah well okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some initials actually not i'm gonna go ahead and roll the astral dice just to see what other insights we can get and then i'll go ahead and pick some initials uh okay so we got the first house i'm getting aries vibes um someone's really focusing on like you know just how they <sighs> how they're viewed focusing on like just kind of being the better version of themselves like yeah the first house has to do with like you know first impressions and how people are viewed and i just feel like this person is kind of cleaning up a bit okay this person doesn't want to like you know obviously you know be seen as like someone who doesn't have their life together this person really cares about like how they how you view them okay and you know i was gonna say obviously you know you shouldn't care that much about what people think of you but i'm just seeing like you know this person like they realize they've kind of been letting themselves go at times and it's like you know maybe they kind of have gotten into like fights or um you know like not the most pleasant situations with other people or they've been like super defensive and they're kind of just working on being like a more pleasant version of themselves that you know people actually want to be around so it's like if this person has kind of been annoying or been a little bit like not even like you know rude or mean necessarily but a little bit like inattentive or like really just like kind of nonchalant or like giving you like you know my my language but like half-assed replies or whatever then you know this person is really working on that they're just like you know what like my self-image does matter i can't just like you know a completely let myself go I, I want to be liked i want to be like you know seen as this person who really has it all together and it's like you know the way to do that is to really feel that way on the inside so this person is working on you know changing themselves internally so that like you know things can change externally as well yeah and then we also got oh my gosh mercury once again yeah so gemini virgo vibes but this person is definitely going to be communicating with you you are not going to go your life without having talked to this person okay yeah definitely communication coming in the only person that can stop that is you if you don't want communication you can unmanifest it but i really do feel like if you have been manifesting a text communication phone call facetime video call whatever it is coming in okay and then we also got aquarius so yeah someone could also have aquarius placement i don't know why but i'm getting like aquarius venus or um yeah it could be sun moon rising venus or some seventh house as well but um yeah or someone kind of is just this is associated with the star card which has to do with like you know the future so it's like this person really does want a future with you okay they really are keen and um like looking forward to having a beautiful future with you and they really do have a lot of hope and faith for a future but like only with you so yeah okay oh my gosh really love that energy here i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of initial cards so this was like the main part of the read reading uh as i always say these initial cards are just a cherry on top so um if these initials do resonate if you and your person um have these initials initials first name middle name or last name then this could be confirmation that this is your reading okay so yeah we got e we got ah o we got K. I really like that. It spells okay. Like everything is going to be okay. You don't have to worry about this. Yeah. We got F. We got D. We got X. We got Y. We got T. We got Z. We got P. S. 
U, I, and C. Also, does someone drive like an SUV or something? I'm seeing something do with like a sports utility yeah, vehicle or uh, someone could be into cars or something like that. I don't know, just a random message I got. And also, I'm seeing that maybe someone could be somewhere where there's like a lot of water near the beach. Like I'm getting California, Miami, or like, you know, Texas, or like, you know, kind of like bordering states someone could be on the east coast or west coast yeah or i don't know why but i'm getting like lake michigan and like midwestern or someone could be in different time zones yeah but i'm seeing something to do with water like someone just definitely could be a water sign um something to do with the beach and like you know where it's like really sunny uh i don't know why but i'm getting socal like san diego la um maybe bay area new jersey new york like i said yeah florida um maybe even the south yeah okay that's a lot of places but um yeah someone could be from there as well okay i am going to go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helps take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here thank you so much love and light Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person currently feeling about you and where is this connection headed? So yeah, I'm going to start off your reading by picking cards from the Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck to see what the energy of you and your person is right now. What is the current energy? What does Pile 3 need to know? What does Pile 3 need to know? Oh my gosh, so many cards are just falling out. That's crazy. Okay, this is very different than the other piles. The cards were not coming out this easily whatsoever. Okay, so we got no need to fear. I really love that, okay? This is basically a sign that you don't need to be worried about this person coming back or hitting you up because, spoiler alert, they will, okay? You don't need to worry about this connect connection whatsoever because... The other message I'm hearing is that like the more you worry, the more resistance you're causing and the more you're giving that um, idea conviction. Okay, let me rephrase what I mean or let me clarify what I mean. Like for example, if you have this sort of like assumption in your mind that this person is like hitting on other people, flirting with other girls, guys, whatever, like you know, you're kind of reaffirming that story and that kind of might end up being true. So you have to stop thinking negatively. I'm really seeing this as a sign that like, look, your person is yours. The connection is here. They do care about you. They are into you. Um, you are a very, very powerful manifester. You're very empowering. You're very um, amazing to be around. You're the type of person that people want to like wife up or husband up, okay? And yeah, I'm really seeing that, you know, this person knows that. They are fully aware and they are very just, um, oh wow, I just got a notification during this reading, okay? They are um, like enamored by you. They're still into you. You don't have to worry. I'm seeing that like maybe a lot of you could even be giving a lot of thought to like the fights you may have had or something that happened that caused this connection to go downhill. Whatever it may be, I'm really getting a sign from spirit to kind of not give too much value to those thoughts. Don't assign those thoughts any sort of value. Don't react. Don't be, you know, don't be emotional over those thoughts. Like, you know, we're humans. We do think, like, on average, 60,000 thoughts a day. So sometimes it is kind of hard to monitor each and every single thought. But I'm really seeing that, like, you know, when that thought comes, just channel the energy of this card and realize, you know what? There's no need to fear. There is... Um, nothing that I need to be scared of because everything is always working out in my favor. Everything always works out for me in the best way possible. Okay, use those as affirmations because if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure that you at least know about manifesting and you probably have, you know, at some point said affirmations. So yeah, that's something that I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing something to do with the number 18. Something could be happening on the 18th of a month. 18 also adds up to 9. So I'm seeing maybe you could be seeing 999. 9 is the number of cycles ending, okay? Like negative cycles ending so that something more positive can come in. So yeah. And then we also got wake up. This says it's your moment, okay? So I feel like this person is going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like this person is finally awakening to the depth of this connection. They're finally awakening to like, you know, just how much you mean to them and how like, you know, they should prioritize you. They should value you. And like, um, I even feel like they're having regrets on, you know, not having done that enough. I'm seeing that this person is really just, um, 
they've been like dormant for so long they've been asleep and they realize that like you know this is the only connection that they've been in literally the only ever connection that they've been in that awakened them to their highest potential that awakened them in a way that no one else did okay like i feel like you awakened them to true love i feel like you really helped their heart chakra um open up you really helped activate you know their heart chakra root chakra i feel like you know this person um they, they kind of like gave up hope on love okay they were kind of just giving up i feel like they might have dated you know people before you sure um but it's like none of them are really sticking okay none of them were people that they necessarily like you know none of them are people that they really really liked or um maybe they did like them but it's just like it's not the same as the connection that you and your person have okay i feel like the connection that you and your person have is really deep telepathic you really understand each other there's like um a really deep sense of mutual understanding and um yeah you really awaken this person to like the depth of feeling the depth of love which they have not felt in a very long time if even ever so yeah that is something that i'm seeing here also this does have 25 on it so i'm seeing that like um something could also be happening on the 25th 25 also adds up to seven so maybe we could be seeing seven 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 yeah so that is something that i'm seeing here and it's like this she kind of has like this sad face like i feel like your person is just sad not being with you or not being in as much contact with you as they want or not really um you know yeah not yeah not being in the relationship that you know the both of you wanted with each other at one point or even that you want now okay uh sorry that was a little bit confusing but it's like they are sad because i'm seeing that if you're watching this you most likely are not in contact or you're in very little contact or it's not really the type of contact you want i feel like you want this person to do more you want this person to like express their love you want this person to like come forward and you know really just um like be vulnerable with themselves you know make you a love offer i feel like there's so much more that you want out you know out of this relationship and i feel like maybe you have gotten that text maybe you have somehow like you know uh gotten contact and things like that but it's like you want more okay like you're just like okay well i want commitment i want something long term i want something like long lasting so yeah that is something that i am seeing here um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what other messages we have uh what does pile three need to know about their person um okay so the first card okay we got three cards that just popped out i'm not reading reversals three cards wow okay okay three major arcana cards that is amazing okay so uh we did get the tower card here um so i am seeing that this tower moment has already happened okay the worst has it's already done it's over with it's not gonna get any worse from here on out okay the only way from here here on out is up the only way from here is forward so that is something that i'm seeing here with this tower card i'm seeing that this person is also really passionate about you they are really passionate about this connection um i'm also seeing like mars energy is really shining here we've got a similar message in pile two as well maybe you can check that out but i'm seeing someone could be an aries or scorpio yeah but um i'm seeing that this tower moment is something that really uh caused them to take a better look at their life because we did get this judgment card and this judgment card is all about reevaluating your journey seeing where you went wrong seeing where you could improve um this is the 20th card out of 22 major arcana cards and this is all about the Querent, aka you know the person who's on this major arcana journey looking back at their journey and being introspective being really reflective like okay what worked for me what didn't like you know what do i need to do um you know just yeah it's kind of like judgment day and i'm seeing that this person is really really evaluating why things happened the way that they did because i'm seeing that like maybe this person realized that they were in some sort of pattern or cycle hence the number 999 i, I keep hearing like nine a lot and i'm seeing that you're going to be seeing nine a lot especially when something uh major is going to happen in this connection for the good okay but again nine has to do with the ending of a cycle so i feel like this person is finally breaking a cycle that has really been holding them back that has been preventing them from coming forward and really being the best version of themselves um and being in this relationship in the most like authentic way possible because i do feel like this person held back a lot okay i'm getting like sort of restrained energy restricted energy um there's a lot more that they wanted to tell you there's a lot more that they wanted to say and reveal to you but it was just really hard for them to do so because um yeah like i feel like this person does carry a lot of like emotional baggage they do deal with a lot of like you know like trauma when it comes to love or maybe even things that happened in their childhood i'm definitely seeing they could have been in a relationship that really like you know took a toll on them and ever since then they haven't like really officially dated anyone but it's like you know they are ready to you made them like more ready okay like i'm seeing that like you really opened up this heart 
this person's heart chakra. I feel like maybe this person, like, when they met you, they're just like, you know what, like, I don't know if I'm ready for something long term, or maybe they told you, like, you know, like, they literally told you that, or they were just kind of in that state of mind, just because, it, you know, they need some more time to, like, heal from that. But then they met you, and they're just like, you know what, maybe I am more ready than I thought. Maybe I do want something long term and committed. And then they met you, and yeah, now they have, like, you know, so much hope and faith for a future in this connection with you. The star card is all about, you know, having like faith that things will work out because this person in you there's unfinished business okay this connection is not over in fact it's far from over i really feel like something significant is going to be happening um you know like okay so we got 17 we got 20 uh 16 so something could be happening on these days um also this is a timeless reading so you know take what resonates but i'm seeing something could be happening during aquarius season i'm also getting aries scorpio season and sagittarius season or maybe someone could even have these placements but i am seeing that like you know your person is going through a major period of healing right now the star card indicates healing and healing in a way that is going to pave way for a better future a better brighter future okay like you shine like a star in their life they are so enamored by you they're so taken aback by you they're very just um you know they have a lot of love for you okay like you they're holistically you know fulfilled in this connection there's nothing that like you know you're not doing enough of there's nothing that like you know um you need to change or do more of no not at all it's like this person realizes they need to heal and i really love that you know we got the tower and star and judgment like this literally tells a story i mean this is like yeah you know spoiler alert like this person is gonna heal they're gonna come back they're gonna be um a better version of themselves okay a renewed version of themselves and you're really gonna be seeing that okay because i'm seeing that like sometimes it's like exes and uh stuff like you know people do come back but it's like it's still the same it's still like you know they haven't really changed or the situation hasn't really changed and i'm really seeing that like you know if this is an ex if this is someone that you haven't talked to in a while or you are in no contact with they're going to come back in a way where there's actually going to be a future and that to a long-term future okay this person is looking for something long-term so yeah and they they know that you're like total wifey material total husband material and if there's anyone that they want to go to you know for a relationship it's you like there's there's no one else that you need to be worried about okay even if there's a third party i'm not saying that it's really going anywhere i mean like it doesn't even matter where they are i feel like emotionally they're still very attracted to their you're still energetically connected you're still energetically bond bonded okay and like the only way that can be cut is if you is if you cut the cord so yeah um that is something that i'm seeing um i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of clarifying cards uh on the star card i kind of want to see like what exactly is going to happen in the future like um how are they going to approach you uh what else do you need to know about like you know how this person is really feeling because they are feeling things really intensely okay there's a lot of water in this card okay uh, there's water being poured from both sources like it's like this both this person's hands are pouring water and water and tarot represents like love feelings emotions so that is something that i'm seeing here um okay so we did get the nine of swords yet another nine okay so i am seeing that like this person still is anxious they do feel you know anxiety um but that are caused by both like external and internal means and it's something that they kind of need to heal before they come forward like you know like i said this card does represent healing and you know i just i wanted to pick cards to gain more clarification on this card and it's like they're healing through their anxiety because their anxiety has been getting to them quite a lot like now more than usual or in the recent past more than usual so that is something i'm seeing they are working on actively healing okay yeah we got the world card i absolutely love this so yeah they are going to be taking that next step in your relationship in your connection okay that could be going from no contact to contact that could be going from a situationship to an official committed relationship that could be going from like you know being in a relationship to engagement but that next big step is happening in fact i'm even seeing if you are in no contact it's going to be more than just contact it's going to be contact that you really like a meaningful con you know yeah, meaningful contact that is going to turn into something more, okay? That is going to turn into something just more official, something more, uh, something that's just headed towards, like, the end goal, whatever that is for you, which, which for a lot of people is marriage, okay? Like, this connection is evolving, this connection is progressing, and the both of you are really getting in alignment with one another, okay? Which is super exciting. This is achievement and fulfillment. Like I said, this connection is so fulfilling to the both of you, okay? This person um, and you... Ugh. Oh my gosh this is a beautiful connection the love is there the romantic connection the emotional connection everything is there it's just a matter of this person really healing it's just a matter of this person you know actively taking steps to become a better version of themselves which i am seeing is happening okay so uh yeah i really love this i'm also seeing uh the signs taurus scorpio leo and aquarius okay i've been getting like 
yeah, Aquarius quite a lot. Uh, someone could either have those placements or something major could be happening during those seasons as well, okay? But this world card is associated with fixed signs and fixed signs are all, well, um, they kind of have like an obstinate, like stubborn energy. So this person is not giving up on you anytime soon. They have not emotionally given up on you and they're not gonna because like I said, they still see a future with you, okay? Even if you're just like kind of giving up, maybe you're just kind of watching Tarot for fun and you're not like, you know, I'm seeing that, Maybe for some of you, you used to kind of like obsessively watch tarot readings or you were a little bit, um, you know, like kind of in that sort of like not to be rude or anything, but like needy energy. You're not in that anymore, okay? And I feel like this person's really feeling that energetically. And that's something that's really drawing them to you, okay? So good for you, okay? I feel like you've been keeping busy. You've been working on your hobbies. Uh, this person finds you to be really intelligent, really smart, really like... Um, a high achiever, okay? You're someone that goes after their goals, their dreams. Again, you're so ambitious. You're... You're very like inspirational and motivational and I feel like whatever you're doing, whatever hobbies you have, whatever you're keeping yourself busy with, keep doing that because it's working and this person's going to be here in no time, okay? Um, this also says, you know, wake up. So wake up to your potential. Wake up to, you know, the fact that you're a little queen or king, you're a little god or goddess, okay? Or if that doesn't resonate, like, you know, you're the operating power of your reality. You're so powerful, enigmatic, magnetic, charismatic and like, there's so many people that are actually into you right now. Like, not just this person, but I'm seeing at least, like, yeah, three to four people are very attracted to you and your energy right now. Okay, wow, we got the Queen of Rings, Queen of Pentacles. So this is literally, like, the wifey card, okay? Or, like, yeah, like, you know, the husband card, whatever you resonate with. Like, it's, this is the card of, like, you know, commitment. This is the card of this person wanting something more with you. They really do feel like you are very um, practical, okay? Like, you're someone that they can really build a future with, that they can really learn a lot from, that they can grow from. Um, yeah, they feel like you're really generous. You're very kind. You're caring. You're giving. You're nurturing. And, yeah, you're just really, um, you're very well-rounded, okay? Um, you are just, you're the type of person that, like, again, people, like, pray for, okay? People, like, try to manifest, okay? Like, I feel like this person and you, you met at a time where maybe they weren't really ready to be in a relationship, and, you know, you were a little bit more ready than them, but it's like you opened their heart chakra, and, like, maybe they thought it was a, like, you know, they didn't think like you were too much, but like you were giving them a lot of like, you know, affection, attention and things like that. And they weren't really used to that, at least not in the recent past. And that kind of like, you know, intimidated them, intimidated them a little bit uh, through no fault of your own. Okay, it's definitely not your fault, but like, um, yeah, this person, I just feel like they haven't been shown the love that you've given them. And like now they're ready to really give that back. Okay, so that's super duper exciting. I am very, very happy for you, Cloud3. I really like the direction of this reading okay so i'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the romance angels deck to see what other messages we have here we got separation yeah so i am seeing that like you have been in separation with this person at least once or you could currently be in separation yeah but um we, yeah we got retreat as well so this person took some time to really retreat and focus on themselves and really getting like four of swords vibes so you know they were really introspective they were really um reflective you know hence the judgment card they were just really figuring out what it is that they want out of life okay and like you know they're realizing one of those things is you and they're gonna be fighting for you okay they're gonna be fighting for you with this world card they're gonna be coming forward and it's like you're gonna be like oh my god this person is not giving up and like it's you're gonna be like very you know obviously pursued um so that's really great we also got forgiving and learning yeah so i am seeing that there is some forgiveness required maybe a little bit more on your part than theirs and just do that if that is something that you want to do okay if that's something you feel comfortable with but i am seeing that this person is looking for some kind of forgiveness or um that you know you'll at least give them a chance to explain or clarify something yeah and this learning you know it's like they learn so much from this connection they learn so much from you and it's like you know now they're ready to finally like just be in it okay like no more lessons just you know have fun enjoy each other's company and yeah just you know be together in the best way possible we also gotta give your relationship a chance yeah so this person is definitely going to be giving this relationship a chance they are going to really be wanting to work on this partnership with you and um you're again you're going to see this person making like a blatant effort okay like you're going to see this person like caring okay like a lot of the times you know people like talk the talk but don't walk the walk you know they say things like oh we should do this we should do that i'll do this i'll do that but then they don't actually like you know act on those actions but i'm seeing that you will see this person um you know 
show you their love through their actions so yeah really love that for you uh let's go and pick one more card yeah we got chemistry again there's so much chemistry so much like attraction here so much passion that's not anything you ever have to worry about uh when it comes to this person so that's really amazing um i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of love oracle cards to see what other messages we have here so the first one is you are the one i'm gonna marry you someday yeah i don't know why but i kept getting like you know um like wedding bells like i kept hearing things that have to do with like a wedding marriage celebration you know kind of like four wands vibes yeah and i am seeing that this person really does want to go the long run with you okay they really do want this to go somewhere uh this says i will always have feelings for you yeah no matter where you are no matter okay no matter where your person is no matter what they're doing they're always thinking about you Okay, they, they think about you a lot more than you know and they really do feel for you no matter what ends up happening this person will always 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 have feelings for you uh this also says i'm constantly reminded of you i can't get you out of my head wow okay that thing that i said was literally an affirmation that i see on tiktok like no matter who he is no matter who he is with no matter what he's doing he's always thinking about me if you have used that affirmation it is definitely working but yeah they literally cannot get you out of their head and yeah everything literally reminds them of you uh this also says if i had another chance with you i would do things differently you are amazing okay yeah this person really looks up to you okay this person really does put you on a pedestal they feel like they really hit the jackpot being with someone like you okay because i really feel like they were not really meeting the best partners you know before you and it's like they met you and like you know they did appreciate being with you they did have that gratitude but it's like they didn't really know like just how valuable like this connection was until like you know they had to take a break or kind of like uh you know go into like separation uh to figure things out for themselves okay go into the sort of like retreat mode and um yeah to just really figure out how like deep and meaningful this relationship is to them okay and this uh yeah i was gonna reference this judgment card again it took some you know real thinking on their part it took some evaluating on this on their part you know to realize that like yeah this is it this is what i want to be in and i'm coming back to be the best version of myself okay because they want you they've, they've always wanted you but they know that you know something does have to change this time around so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and build the astral dice and then i'm gonna go ahead and pick some initial cards to see what else is going on yeah we got the sixth house okay someone could be a virgo or have virgo placements we have taurus and then we also have mars yet again so aries and scorpio energy so yeah someone could have these signs sun moon rising venus okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of initials like i always say these initials are like the cherry on top the oracle cards and the tarot cards are really like um you know the main part of the reading so if these initials do resonate so if you um or your person has these initials first name and name or last name then this could be confirmation this is your reading so yeah the first one we have here is b f wow boyfriend looks like someone wants to be someone's boyfriend we got k d this morning we have kevin durant is someone into like basketball yeah we got r i don't know why but i got dominican republic we got l ldr long distance relation relationship someone could be in an ldr right now we got x someone could be someone's ex we got c we got i we got u g a v and e so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here i really hope this helped take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for and yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here thank you so much love and light